This whole system is an excellent uh, startup system or base system for a community garden, a community um, edible garden as they are coming po very popular in cities. Also excellent for um, missions, uh, either church-based or other groups, um, both here in the United States and abroad. Uh, this is an excellent system because it can be managed by one person and um, is a very manageable system, user-friendly, uh, and very compact and very productive. I have 36 tilapia right now. This is the beginning of the project. Um, each of them is about a pound and a quarter, a pound and a half on the average. Some of them are two pounds or more. Um, this is just to get the, the, the project started and to get the water, you know, put enough fertilizer. Feed them twice a day. Sometimes I even feed Moringa. And I, I do that especially on weekends when you, somebody's not gonna be here. I just throw a couple branches of Moringa. And uh, when I get back on Monday, it's completely clean. They clean to the branch, you know, um, to the, just to the stick, the twits, what's left. Over here we have a, a um, um, sort of homemade with the kitty swimming pool, a way to grow duckweed. Duckweed is a good source of uh, natural food for tilapia. Tilapia loves it. Um, you can have a content of about 33 percent, 35, or when you dry, uh, the content of protein goes up to even 40, 45 when you dry it. I found myself that feeding it fresh is better for tilapia. When you uh, dry it, it becomes sort of too too rough for the fish, and they kind of don't use it. Don't, uh, they don't eat it as well. But when it's fresh, it's softer, and uh, they eat it. They consume it really well. The water from the fish. Uh, comes through the clarifying tanks and then through a pipe underground and by gravity uh, ends up on the media bed which is hydroton media which serves as both um, cl uh, an extra clarifier a bio uh, media as well for bacteria to grow and also to stop any larva that may come from the fish tank once they decide to spawn the water then flows through the media bed which also serve as a way to uh, plant some plants that prefer uh, solid media. As we can see here, uh, the water comes to the drain and it has a floating drain system. Uh, the, this here tank serves as a, um, se uh, as a uh, sump tank where I have the pump place. The pump is on this side. This tank also receives the water from the other uh, uh, floating raft systems, uh, as we will see later. The pump comes up here with the water and supplies the fish tank and supplies the media beds, the solid uh, or the floating raft beds actually. And so there is never a contact between the fish water directly onto the sump. It has to go through the media, which is important. Uh, a couple of days ago, I also added an NFT system based on a uh, four inch PVC pipe just around just to increase the um, planting area here just simply adding the same water that comes from the sump from the same pump that I am using one pump moves the entire system and uh, using simple designs such as this one just a regular uh, irrigating um, irrigation uh, line that is connected to the return of the pump then goes all the way around and returns back to the same sump this is a, a, a enclosed recirculating system one person can handle the entire system. Uh, most of the uh, time is spent probably in plants, especially when the crop is ready. You, you, you need to get them out. Fish is very um, less demanding, if you would, and the reason why the balance is, it, it is achieved that way so that most of the attention can be given to the plants. The plants that are growing in um, uh, containers around the system are enhanced by using water from the system itself that is already fertilized by the fish as an irrigating water. We can uh, then benefit different crops that not necessarily grow in the floating uh, raft or this media, otherwise they don't do well directly in water. This is the system we're using uh, for the integrated crops, uh, integrated to the aquaponic system. The crops on this uh, containers, which I'm going to explain, um, are irrigated with the water coming from the from the fish tank. You know that's why it's considered an enhancement to them. 
because it brings the fertilizer and as well uh, natural fertilizer as well as the water. These systems are based on, on uh, compost being used um, uh, as a media for the roots and uh, water. Uh, the container, this is a mini version of it, is filled with water through this pipe. Water goes in there, goes to the bottom of the container and it fills up to the point where uh, it penetrates through the holes on this main pipe that supports the top. And so as it goes here, uh, we can see it. The water fills up to a certain point and um, the, the uh, compost that we use as a media, as a planting media, absorbs, providing constant water to the plant. These systems, depending on the weather, have to be filled up at least once a week, uh, in the middle of the summer, twice a week. And we are using water from the fish, from the fish tank. Um, we are using um, to uh, plant radishes, uh, beets, um, carrots, broccoli. We are doing tomato, bell pepper, uh, cauliflower, and uh, any plant uh, that is in season, number one, and it cannot be planted directly in water. So that makes the whole, uh, the whole design an integrated design with plants that are in compost and they are directly in water.